let's try and answer the question, what is AI? Um, fortunately or unfortunately, it's a very popular topic. and There's a lot of interest in it these days. Um, unfortunately, a lot of it is a misconception. Uh, a lot of it's movie magic or uh, great fiction uh, about the idea of AI. Um, very different from the reality of AI. And if you are today an executive of an enterprise firm, uh, and, and like most, you have now a mandate of introducing AI to the firm and finding opportunities and solutions, leveraging it that haven't been leveraged before, you're trying to figure out the AI market. Um, as one who's been a part of it for 20 years, I can tell you it's, uh, it's a victim of marketing these days. Uh, there's a lot of uh, hyperbole. There, there's a lot of uh, uh, buzzwords around it. Uh, but the reality is actually quite simple. Uh, so let, let's try to lay that out for us first. Um, when we talk about AI, a lot of people actually talk about big data, uh, honestly. Uh, five years ago, every big, big initiative was around big data. Uh, if you notice, in the last couple of years, they don't talk about big data anymore. You know why? They're AI companies now. Uh, they changed their branding, their marketing. It's really not that different. There's a really good Forbes article around uh, it's not big data anymore, it's big data AI. Uh, essentially, what that means is leveraging analytics, machine learning algorithms, uh, to evaluate large sets of data and find patterns in it. That's one common application of AI in the market for analytics. Other areas that are practical and uh, maybe not as commonly thought of in enterprise is introducing AI and machine learning algorithms for autonomics. Uh, that means taking actions as opposed to evaluating large sets of data, evaluating small sets of data, uh, discern discerning uh, what is it that somebody wrote on an invoice and then processing that invoice. So imagine extending the role of RPA by leveraging machine learning algorithms on top to make a much more intelligent RPA solution uh, than your traditional. And then the last uh, domain of AI that personally uh, I found fascinating is conversational AI. Um, and it's very important not to confuse about chatbot, we'll talk about it a bit more later. Uh, but a conversational AI is a AI taking the role of a human being in a dialogue with another human being. Uh, its job is to be able to understand the intent, recognize their goal, and then be able to go through a multi-turn dialogue with all the variations and unexpected interactions and be able to help them solve a problem. Um, these three layers of AI are critical to distinguish between because candidly, they solve very different problems and they leverage very different technologies. So you can't easily bucket, I have AI as a solution and know exactly what you're solving. You need to peel the onion back a little bit and say, okay, what is the problem I'm solving? Is it an analytics issue? Is it an autonomics issue? Am I trying to build the next virtual customer agent? And that should drive then, with this understanding of AI, you can now focus on what to do with it. So I hope this helps you at least understand uh, in a bit more depth how to answer questions you're asked, what is AI?